what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i hope everybody is doing great um today i want to talk about the student loan debt crisis that we have in this country and i'm just going to jump right into it um, so they teach us that the recipe for success is to go to school get a degree go get a good job and go make it happen in the real world and uh, become successful right they do not, however, teach us financial education, and there is a reason for that, and that is because it is profitable to have citizens that are financially uneducated. The system was designed this way. It's designed to work against you. That's why it's important to learn it yourself um, because they won't teach it to you, but there are ways to learn it, so make sure that you are educating yourself on these things. Um, so school is only getting more expensive, which is a shame that it costs so much money for our people in our country to go and get educated because education is really important. I strongly believe that with this video, I'm not suggesting people don't go to school. I don't want people to think that. I just think that there is smarter ways of going about things and you want to make well-informed decisions so that, um, it it's important for your future to know, not go into things blindly. And school is absolutely an investment. With any investment, you should go into it looking at your ROI, right? Your return on investment. Is this a wise investment for me? What's going to be the outcome? What am I expected to make um, from this investment? So we have so many people, so many young people in school that you know it's just the expectation for them to go to school finish high school go into college and um like i said school college is only getting more expensive and if you don't have the money to pay for it you don't have family to support your education you have student loans as an option and um student loans is the number one asset for the u.s government that means that the u.s government makes more money on student loans than they do any anything else more than they do from mortgage payments more than they do from tax payments and it's kind of crazy to think about and honestly it's sad that we are setting up our young people for this financial burden that they don't totally understand um you know they don't they don't know what the what's going to be expected of them in the future they don't know what it's going to cost them monthly to make these payments and Student loans is something that sticks around forever. Um, you know, even if you file for bankruptcy, your student loans are not gonna go away. There is talk right now of the government, the US administration for giving student loans, but um, also understand that debt doesn't just go away. Um, even if that did happen, which we don't know if it will, uh, the, the debt would be absorbed by taxpayers in the future. Kind of the same idea as the government giving out free money last year for COVID. Now we're dealing with the consequences of that, which is inflation. Everything's so expensive. So things might sound good at the time, but, uh, you know, it might not actually be a wise decision in the future. So uh, when, when you're going to college, it's, it's really important to look at your different options. I personally went to community college first. I did take FAFSA. My grants paid for all of my two first years of college, and then it paid for two thirds of my university. Um, I wanted to go to college in California, but it was much more of a, it was a smarter financial decision for me to go to school in Oregon where I'm from. So I only had to pay in-state tuition. People know these things, I'm, I'm just going to highlight them. You know, you don't want to just take the most expensive option because it's desirable and it seems smart at the time or it seems cool at the time. Um, it's usually not as, it's usually not the wisest decision. Uh, so there's also grants available um, outside of FAFSA that it takes the extra work, you know, scholarships that you can apply for. It takes the extra work. You have to write those essays. Uh, but your future self will thank you for taking the extra steps to get more assistance with your education. Also, don't pick a college um, just because, you know, it has like a cool football team 
or it has a cool campus. I understand that, especially when you're, you know, fresh out of high school, those things are really desirable. It's like, oh, it's your first time, you know, leaving the house. It's this freedom that you're so excited for, but sometimes it's that freedom that you're going after right then that's going to hold you back from freedoms in the future when you're actually a young adult and it's kind of even cooler. Um, that, but I get it, the college experience, it, it can be very great for people. Um, another thing is to, there are companies that will help you pay for your school. I know companies like Starbucks will help, uh, will pay for your college on their dime if you're working for them while you go to school. Um, I was working for Wells Fargo, which they had a program too, where they would pay for a, a portion of my school, which I took advantage of. And then also just make sure that with your student loans, you're actually using them towards school. Because I have seen a lot of people take out student loans and then use it to go buy a car or buy clothes. And that's just not a wise investment decision because keep in mind that you are going to have to pay back that money later. I think it's sad too that we have kids in school that they have classes that are encouraging them to pursue these expensive universities um, and they're teaching them how to apply for this assistance but they're not actually educating them on the result of the, the future of these financial burdens that they're signing up for so i also think it's really important for you to educate your kids about these things especially if you can't help them pay for their school. So many people in this country are indebted to their student loans for literally almost their whole life. And so I just wanna highlight that today. I think it's really important. There is $1.7 trillion in student loan debt today and one fourth of um, debtors are in default, meaning they can't make the, the minimum payment on those student loans. So, just make well-informed decisions before you sign up for the loan. Um, a lot of people, you know, especially in high school, it's there. This is what everybody's doing. You know, they're going, they're going to college. They're taking out student loans, and a lot of the times, just because everybody is doing something, like it doesn't mean that it's a smart decision to do so. Actually, a lot of the times, it it means, um, you know, it's not the route to go. Um, because it can set you back but um, just educate your kids on these things um, again it's so sad that we live in a country where it costs so much money to go to school and who is really profiting off of our education um, and then who, who are what kind of citizens are we creating in the world you know where they're uninformed where they go to call they go to high school they go to college and they still don't understand finance and taxes and um, credit cards and debt and financial education. So definitely go online, go on YouTube. I hope to put out more videos about this stuff, but there's a lot out there already that just makes you more informed on these important topics that are going to create your future of success. Um, so that's all I have for today. Thank you for tuning in.